So who am I to talk about TVs? Well, I've got a resume of every single monitor, gaming monitor, and uh, anything to do with video production, photography, monitors, basically all the monitors from years and years ago, and also, and obviously today. And um, I do have a background where I loved every single TV, so I used to buy a new TV near enough every month. Yes, it was a bit crazy, even it didn't matter how much it was, I just went out and bought one. So now I haven't done a TV review in a while, so I thought I'd do one now. So Cello sent over their TV, and it says Ferguson, so it's under Cello uh, Electronics. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check them all out and stuff. They do have much bigger screens, but this one is the 43-inch version that we've got today. So it says Smart 4K Ultra High Definition TV. So what we are um, working with is not um, true 4K, which would be 4096 by 2160, I think. We're working with 3840 by 2160 instead. And also, super fast Android 7.0. So this is Nugger, or Nugget, or something like that. That is basically some sort of food name for what Android gives. It's different levels of uh, uh, operating systems or new UI. Um, so at the moment on my phone, we're using Pi at the moment. So this is seven on a TV. And guess what? It is British made. So British made. That's how I like it. It's really quite cool. But anyway, let's just get out the box. This is the 43 version. It does have four HDMI ports out and it's got USB and I, I don't know what else it's got on there, but it's, it's pretty good. And before you turn off on the TV, why is this dude literally reviewing a Ferguson TV? Because it's got a Samsung, it's the Samsung makes the, uh, the actual displays, it goes into this screen and it's just like less, less in price than what it is for the Samsung TV. Nothing different in quality, other than I heard a little bit in the, um, in the grapevine about the obviously audio, but at the end of the day, just use a soundbar. Out of this box, straight away, we get one of the feet and it uh, feels quite nicely made. So it's, Quite hard plastic, but it's decent plastic. And then we've got the remote control. So this remote control should be able to point and move around. They include two double um, A batteries. Or was it triple A? Triple A actual double batteries uh, for your remote control and all the instructions, warranty and everything like that's in there as well. You get your normal lead. Let's see how long the lead is. So this cable is not exactly the longest cable. It's about a meter of one, meter 20, I would say. So yeah, there's, there's that cable and it's not the kettle lead, it's just the normal, um, I can't remember what this lead is, it's not even a C5 uh, lead, it looks like the same sort of size but minus one. I know what I'll do, I'll do something better. Then I'll go around the side and I'll pull the TV out, that's what I'll do. So it's got this nice foamy part as well to protect the screen. So you just got to be too careful when you're getting it out as well. You don't press the screen as well. But what we'll do, we'll set it up real quick and then we'll show you. Right, so here's where you plug in to obviously get power to the actual TV. And then you've got a network, which is infinite port. You've got an infrared port there as well. You've got a headphone jack, which is 3.5 millimeter jack, a mini AV jack. You've got a digital output, which is where the light travels down optical uh, lead. An audio out for your left and right phono or your RCA cables on the back there to connect to DVD or Blu-ray or Sky cable, whatever. You've got HDMI 1. It does come with four, so HDMI 1 there, HDMI 2. HDMI 3 there, HDMI 4, the new terrestrial TV 2 there, USB 1, USB 2, and the micro SD card. Now with having a micro SD card, that means that you can use uh, the card and take uh, photos off or do little presentations or anything on an SD card that you can normally do on a phone because it's got Android, will be compatible with this TV and it will run just like you've got it on your phone or a tablet. On the front here is where you've got volume minus down and then volume, volume up. And then you've got your channel switches there and then your source code where you can switch through different HDMI and your TV broadcasting channels. And obviously your menu button there to go through all the contrast and setting up things um, for your um, color gamut and um, contrast and whatever else they do as well in anything to do with TV. It's all in your menu there. And where is the power button? The power button is somewhere here. I think this is your power button actually. 
saying that. Now the good thing about this remote here is that it's wireless mouse as well as a remote control. So that means that you can move your hand on the screen like that and you'll have a mouse that moves on the screen as well. Meaning it's a lot more faster and a lot more capable than other TVs that have just normal remotes, but it might be faster in other areas. This is gonna be really fast to get to your navigation really quickly. I've got a computer here and I'm gonna set this up to the computer. But technically you can set it up however you want. You can set it up for your terrestrial one, terrestrial two, uh, for your Sky, DVD player, Blu-ray player, Xbox, PlayStation, anything you want, it's got all the connections there. And this is also an A rating, which is pretty good. Right, so the Vaser wall mount in a size, screw size, is 200 by 200 millimeters, which is your M5 times eight screws. So at least you know it's got you covered. If you want to put it on the wall, you can do. This, this is actually not too heavy as a screen. So as you can see that we've got, um, basically, beside the point, I put the infinite cable from the computer into the actual TV because that's what you came to see. So I'm going to just like hover through it like an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing and see how easy it is. Right, so what I did, I had to press one of these buttons and I think I pressed smart. Oh, I got the, which way? Yeah, United Kingdom, yeah. Cool, it's pretty freaking quick, man. This makes my, what, 3,000 pound TV look stupid. <laughs> Continue, okay. Checking info, because we've got it all connected to the internet. I forget you, that's it, the way this looks like, it looks like Google's coming in. Oh, what a surprise. Right, so what I'll do is I'll sign in quickly. So after you signed in, you just go to agree. Simple as that. Just like you would on your phone. Automatic back update if you want to. So let's just click next. Right, wizard completed. Go to okay. Smart TV. I would hope so. Please wait, discovery network. Cool, right. Um, so I've already plugged straight in. Um, I'm in the United Kingdom, it comes up straight away. Whatever you are, you just obviously do that. Deploy and download the results. Wow, this thing is quick. Well, I'm gonna skip because I haven't got an aerial. So I'll just go to complete. Uh, it, yeah, that's the time, no channels, whatever, because I don't really watch TV anyway. What's going on? There we go. Press smart and you're out of there in a, in a jiffy. Right, so, um, there we go, we've got Smart TV, YouTube, YouTube Kids, Netflix, BBC iPlayer, BBC News, uh, BBC Sport, all four, ITV Hub, UK TV Play, Sky Go, Now TV, we've got Virgin TV Go, I didn't even know that was even a thing, Amazon Prime Video, got all of them. Oh my God, Cody's on there already, okay, Spotify Music, you can even play music for it. Uh, Plex, Tidal, Twitch, Cool, and then all of this is where your input sources are. So you've got TV, HMI 1, HMI 2, HMI 3, HMI 4, and AV. And then down below, you can must have recognized this gallery because this is what used to be on Android phones. And your Play Store, you can play games on here and all that. You've got your file browser, you've got your downloads, you've got your app installer for the APK, AP, APK. and then you've got your mirror cast, so you can mirror cast your stuff. That is awesome straight off the bat uh you can close everything that you don't want when it's all on there that's nice smart tv yeah and then you've got your settings or system settings and your apps and your appearances however you want it to look at so let's go to um youtube real quick because we just want to get the 4k going this is so fast this is ridiculous i'm not even gonna lie this is really fast Woo! From a distance, yeah. Oh, mate, I'm about, I'm at least about six meters away here. Look at that, that's just easy. And you know what, it goes slower, so, you're e so it's easier to obviously go on where you need to go on. Now, as I'm closer, it gets a little bit faster. That is, that's really crazy. They thought about it as like a normal mouse. So let's open this up. Man, this thing looks clean and clear. Right, let's, uh, can I play one of my videos? Oh my God. Weird. Hoo -hoo. Let's try, let's find a 4K one. 
Right, so to go up and down, you just hold the OK button and then you just go to the direction you want, so up or down, and it works. It just goes and it's pretty quick. So I'm just finding a video, let's click on this one. See how it is, we'll put it in 4K. So if I click on it, oh, okay. and we'll make it a bigger screen. Yeah! Right, so let's give it a sound test while we're here. Wow, that looks clean. That really looks clean. And the funny thing is, is that this is from YouTube. So they would upsample it, spread it out, and upsample it again to compress all the good footage that you've done already. And that is just from YouTube and it's really clean and clear. It's good. Welcome to a glorious day today. Um, this video is sponsored by Be Quiet and um, we've got the fabulous Marcus Cole here. From, uh, One thing I can say straight off the bat though, I am not feeling the uh, sound at all you're definitely going to need a sound bar um but straight up through the internet and working and everything like that for that price point and how youtube spits it in and out that is pretty pretty nice and it's like obviously the blacks and the colors would need to be adjusted because it does look slightly a little bit flatter but it depends on the grading but this is straight from youtube so imagine watching something that is made for 4K and ultra high definition is going to look absolutely superb. So yeah, I definitely have to recommend this TV other than the sound. If you're going to buy this TV, then obviously buy a sound bar, which will put the price up a little bit, but you can get a sound bar that's decent for like £100 and then follow it upwards. If you've got um, plastic on a, a top of range Samsung TV, um, it, it's just going to look like it's aluminium and it probably have aluminium bits to it. So I think this is how they've skipped around the price because it's kind of a bit more plasticky, but it's so freaking light. And it's good to, when you go to put this on your wall, it's going to be fine. Um, I had it on for a bit, I can't feel much heat, just a little bit of heat. But yes, yeah, I said, it is quite plasticky in that. You've got the menu bar at the back and everything and the buttons feel quite clicky and stuff. Phaser mount so you can put it on the wall. Um, the HDMI cable that I've got in the back stick comes out a little bit. It would be nice if they adjusted it a little bit, uh, then it will fit nicely, but depends. I'm just using a high grade cable in the back. Yes, you can plug your uh, computer in it, no problem whatsoever. This computer can uh, kick out 4K, no problem. Um, this is probably, I got, I'm not too sure if this is 8-bit, um, or 8-bit or 10-bit, or 8-bit that can has got FRC on it or whatever it's called, um, where it scales up to a certain amount of um, LUT on the actual screen. I'm just thinking to myself that it probably is 8-bit and not a 10-bit, because a 10-bit would be much more expensive. But then again, it's using Samsung, Samsung quality components in there. So even if you look at the name and go, oh, I'm not going to buy that TV, I'll go and buy a Samsung. Well, this is a Samsung, really, isn't it? Just a cheaper version. Anyway, hope you liked this video and enjoyed it and everything like that. If um, you want to hear more about it, just leave a link in the description. Well, obviously, comment down below and subscribe so you don't miss anything and there's a much store if you want to support the channel and all that sort of stuff roger and out see you next one thanks for watching